Friends, welcome to the tutorial series on network analysis made simple. This is a module wise EC paper solution series. In this tutorial, we shall solve module 1 of CBCS scheme of ETU paper. The paper is a network analysis of December 2016 January 2017. Friends, I prefer to explain the concepts involved and illustrate the thinking process more in detail rather than the mathematical steps involved. I am sure you are well equipped with the basic mathematical skills to solve simultaneous equations. Friends, first let us take the problem on source transformation. In this question, we are required to find the power delivered by 50 volt voltage source using source transformation. So friends, very important requirement is to identify the network connectivity. So if you observe the network, you should be able to identify that it is a two junction network. So let us draw the simplified network without changing the connectivity of the network as shown in figure. Friends, you see that it has two practical voltage sources, one of 50 volts in series with 5 ohm and another of 10 volts in series with 3 ohm. It also has one practical current source of 10 ampere with 2 ohm in parallel. Now, you must understand that all the three sources are convertible, but which source is to be transformed? You must know that 50 volt source should not be converted because we are required to find power delivered by it. Therefore, you know that power delivered by a voltage source is equal to V into I wax. Therefore, out of the remaining two sources, I prefer to convert a 10 volt source into a current source so that I get two parallel connected current sources. By converting 10 volt source, we get 10 divided by 3 amperes in parallel with 3 ohm as shown in figure 2. By observing figure 2, you find that two current sources of the same orientation are in parallel. Hence, their resultant is 40 divided by 3 amperes. Similarly, 2 ohm and 3 ohm are in parallel and their resultant is 6 divided by 5 ohm. Incorporating these reduction, we get to the circuit shown in figure 3. Now, by converting 40 divided by 3 ampere current source, we get 16 volts in series with 6 divided by 5 ohm as shown in figure 4. Now you see that the circuit is reduced to a single loop network. Therefore, by writing the Kirchhoff's voltage equation for the loop, we get 50 minus 5i minus 6 divided by 5i minus 16 is equal to 0. By solving this simple equation, we get i is equal to 170 divided by 31 amperes. Hence, Power delivered by 50 volt source is equal to V into I and by substituting the values, we get 274.19 watts. Is it not simple? Friends, next we shall take a question on mesh current method. In this problem, we are required to find the voltage across 20 ohm resistance. The solution is simple and straightforward because you see that there are three independent loops in the network. So, we have to assume three mesh currents and write three balance equations and solve them. That is simple. So, let I1, I2 and I3 be the assumed mesh currents as shown in figure. By writing the Kirchhoff's voltage equation for loop 1, we get 12 I1 minus 2i2 minus 5 is equal to 0. By rearranging it, we get equation 1. Similarly, for loop 2, we get minus 2i1 plus 34i2 minus 2i3 is equal to 0. Let it be equation 2. 
for loop 3 we get minus 2 i 2 plus 12 i 3 minus 10 is equal to 0 by rearranging it we get equation 3. By solving the 3 simultaneous equations 1, 2 and 3 we get i 1 is equal to 0 0.429 amperes and i 2 is equal to 0 0.075 ampere and I3 is equal to 0 0.8458 amperes. But we know only I2 is flowing in 20 ohm resistance. Therefore, voltage across 20 ohm resistance is equal to 20 volts into 0 0.075 amperes which will give us 1.5 volts. Friends, Next, we shall take up the question on nodal analysis. In this problem, we are required to find Ix using nodal analysis. Very first important task is to identify the connectivity of the network. If you observe the network, you find that it is a two junction network. So, let V1 be the unknown junction voltage as shown in figure. By writing the nodal equation, we get V1 minus 0.5 Ix minus 3 divided by 4 plus 2 plus V1 minus 4 divided by 2 is equal to 0. But we know that Ix is equal to V1 minus 4 divided by 2. So, by substituting for Ix in the balance equation and solving it, we get 11 V1 is equal to 8 and V1 is equal to 8 divided by 11 volts. So, Ix is equal to V1 minus 4 divided by 2. By substituting for V1 and solving it, we get Ix is equal to minus 1.636 amperes. Friends, the next question is on star delta conversion. In this, we are required to derive the expression for 1 delta to star and 2 star to delta transformation. So, I suggest you go through my earlier video on star delta conversion for answering this question. Hope you will do that and thank you for watching this video.